Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Happy 2024. Um, it feels so mad that we're in 2024. I feel like 2023 20, rushed by um, and we're already like nearly at the end of January, which I find crazy. Um, but I just thought to kick off um, like the first video of my YouTube channel this year, I just thought what better way than to talk about like new year goals, vision, that kind of thing. Um, and I kind of want to show you a few things that I use that like I find helps me with that. So I'm going to jump straight to it. And the first thing is this. It's a daily planner. I got it from my sister for Christmas. Um, I think it's from Papier. Pap Papier? I think that's how you say it. Um, it's personalised as well, which I love. And you can get loads of different designs. And I've never had a planner like this before. Like, I just think it is so great. At the start of it, it, like, basically tells you to do, like, a bit of a mind map about all your, like, New Year goals, that kind of thing. And then it, like, makes you break down your goals kind of thing um, into, like, weekly goals, monthly goals, a checkup in six months, where you want to be, that kind of thing, which I find really, really good. Um, and I feel like that, like, also helps you like achieve stuff if you see stuff like written down like I always find that better um than just sort of thinking in your head this is where it starts with it starts with a weekly overview and you've got like a sort of like Monday to Friday kind of bit here so in that I would just pop in like you know Monday Monday Tuesday I've got work Margot's in nursery um you know anything that we've got on that week that kind of I need to like actually sort of make myself aware of because sometimes I honestly forget and it's got my top three priorities here which is great because I feel like you can have a lot to do in a week but you like almost there's like always a few things that you actually like really really need to get done um and then it has also got important to do's down that side and a habit tracker which I think is really clever actually because there are a few habits that I'm trying to adopt into my lifestyle um that is quite good to like keep an eye on and just make sure like that you're kind of sort of keeping yourself accountable and I also find as well like when I've got like something to tick off or like that kind of thing it makes me more motivated I don't know why I think that's why I like to like write down all my stuff like a list that kind of thing and then we've also got a on the menu this week and a shopping list you've got then your individual days then from monday to sunday and on that it's got like your schedule so you can map out like any like nail appointments that kind of thing it's got to-do list and then it's got most important again the most important bit i find really good because there are some things that like i know i need to do that day like unload the dishwasher that kind of thing but like most importantly i need to go and like pick up nappies or you know that kind of thing so i love having a planner and like I said this one is so so good like so so useful so thank you to my sister for getting this but I have always always got myself a planner at the start of the year like I just cannot I cannot like actually go without one I just find it so like useful and stuff to fill in very like visual I like to sort of write stuff down and then see it on a page and that always just makes me more more motivated so I feel like Having a planner is like a really good way of just like keeping yourself accountable, keeping yourself organised and on track in 2024. Okay, second one, which I've never actually used, but I've always, always, always wanted to do. Um, and it's a thought a day journal. Um, so my best friend got me this for Secret Santa this year. I'm honestly obsessed. Like, I'm so glad she got this for me. I feel like she like knew exactly what I wanted to do kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I've already like obviously started filling it out um, and it's five years. So like it literally can go down to, this one will last me till 2029. If I've got my maths right, I should do. I know it says a thought, but I actually have started writing down what I'm grateful for. So I will sort of sit and reflect like in the evening, sort of when I'm in bed and it literally stays right by my bed. Um, and I write down like stuff that I'm grateful for that happened like that day. Um, so, you know, it could be anything. It could be like having that coffee, like going and, you know, meeting up with friends, like grateful for friends. But it can also just be generic stuff like grateful for your health and things like that. But I just feel like it's quite a good reminder. Sometimes I have days where I'm like, I literally wasn't productive. Like, I feel like I was a bad, like, 
you know, I didn't do as much to like entertain Margot as I could have done, like all that sort of stuff that comes with like mum guilt. I definitely feel like making sure that I have written something that I'm grateful about, like reminds me that actually, even if you're having a bad day, there is always gonna be something that like you're happy for or like grateful for. So I really, really, really love the idea of this. Yeah, this is definitely something that I would recommend. Sorry, I had to press pause on filming my video. Um, because Marco woke up from her nap but I thought I would finish it off this evening I've got all cozy I'm in my favorite pajamas I've got food coming I've got the lights all dim so it's all nice and cozy here the last thing that I would say that's helped me kind of get towards my like goals visions that kind of thing of 2024 and I've done this every year since I lived with my flatmate Sophie it's definitely a tradition that I'm just like gonna carry on like every new year and it's create a vision board so what i do is around new year's eves or like new year's day i basically just write down like the goals or like the visions that i want for this year kind of like almost like manifesting them um and i go on pinterest just kind of like find photos that kind of suit that that theme or that goal that kind of thing um and i put it just all on canva and i save it and I set it as my laptop background whenever I like open my laptop which is kind of like quite often actually um I visually sort of like see all my goals that kind of thing so I kind of have like reminders and for me the mindset is kind of like if I visualize it and I see it I like keep seeing it I want it like you know every time I see it I'm like yeah that's what I want that's what I want and I just like need to work for it basically also <laughs> sorry if you can hear um, coughing in the background. Margot's got another cough, shock horror. So I'm going to insert my 2024 vision board here um, and you'll see there's quite a lot of like fitness kind of stuff, there is like health, um, there is friends, there's a lot of like family. Um, you'll also notice there is Instagram and YouTube things that like, they're like number goals um, that I basically just sort of they're like goals that I like really want to reach by the end of the year. I didn't reach my one for Instagram in 2023, which is fine because I literally didn't put any effort into that whatsoever. But I did reach my one from YouTube, but I reached it like three quarters of the way through the year, which I'm really proud of. Um, but yeah, I just want to like push myself and I really just want to make them grow. My main overarching like goal this year is just to invest in my like fitness in my health, my well-being, that's just what I want to do, like I want to just spend time on me because the amount of effort that I put into Margot, the amount of effort I go to to make sure she's eating really well, making sure she's like out, exercise, sort of like fresh air, all of that sort of stuff and I don't do that for me, like I don't put that in for me and on the odd occasion that I do, I feel so much better for it and I feel like I'm actually like a better mum when I do it. So I just really want to like invest that time um, and the effort into me. Obviously, because it's quite like an overarching goal, like health and well-being, I have kind of like pinpointed things that I want to do like sort of weekly so that it kind of builds into a lifestyle. I feel like in the past, I've just almost like gone for the end goal. And I was listening to Grace Beverly's um, podcast, the New Year podcast, um, it's like really short it was like literally like 17 minutes it really inspired me because it was kind of like what are your short-term goals um, to help you attain that long-term goal like I said I've been doing these for a few years now and I would highly recommend these they're just like visually so much better than just like having it either on your phone or just like literally even in your brain like I just feel like visually I'm able to kind of see my year what i want from it that kind of thing long story short the three things that kind of like help me visualize my goals set my goals that kind of thing um and things that i'm definitely going to be like taking into 2024 with me is definitely a daily planner number two is some sort of like journal um like i said i have got the the thoughts one um so it's like write down your thoughts or you could just use like a notebook just to like journal that's what i used to do i just used to write that stuff down in a notebook and just kind of like almost like manifest them through writing and then last but not least number three 
100% do a vision board. They're honestly so, so helpful. And I actually can't believe how many people do them now. Like looking through Instagram during like New Year's kind of time, like everyone seemed to be doing them. I could honestly speak for ages about like habits, lifestyles, goals, all that sort of stuff. But I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave this video here. Again, happy new year and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video.